Hey everyone. Today is February 27th, 2017. And believe it or not, on this side of the house, it is about 13 degrees. <laughs> the sun was shining on it, so I um, came out earlier to prune my hydrangeas. That's not a hydrangea, but that is. Just wanted to come out and take a look. It's nice to be outside right now. Um, so yeah, I pruned the hydrangeas. There's one over there too. There. Today, because it is time to prune them. And I have a lot of work to do this summer, but I'm so excited about it. Those are the gladiolas that I planted last year and I forgot to take out. <laughs> I didn't take the bulbs out. So, But you guys have to see this. It is February. Well, I would say March, actually. And those are um, daffodils that are coming out. The garden's really messy, but yeah. And there are tulips. Tulip shoots everywhere. Let's see, there's some more right there. Okay, see here, even the roses are starting to show some action. I can't say the name of this rose, but that's the name of it. <laughs> um, yeah, see, look, by the lavender, that. So, last fall, um, I did a lot of planting in the garden. Well, not a lot, but, you know, compared to compared to the last years because we moved in and there was a lot of work to do in the house and I didn't really have that much chance to work on the garden. There's another, another tulip shoot. Gotta fix this one. This rose, this is a David Austin rose. Yeah, so we did a lot of planting last year. <laughs> the only planting almost that I've done. See here are more tulips. But I'm wondering if this is normal because I have been in Norway. Oh my God, look at that disgusting ant. I have been in Norway for almost six years now and I can't remember things starting to come alive this early in the year. But we have had these abnormally warm winters, I guess. Last winter was quite okay. It was good. We had some snow. There were some more tulips coming up. More tulips coming out there. And I pruned this earlier too. That's that one. Um, well, I ca still can't remember the previous years <laughs> having things shoot out this early. Oh gosh. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's not frozen anymore. The ground is not frozen. Look at that. Or at least not the surface of it. Yeah. Do you guys have growth this early in the year? I'm wondering. There's my other David Austin. So we have still that part of the bed to dig up. It's a lot of work here in the area that I live in because... Oh, that was a gunshot. Um because we have a lot of clay dirt and we have so many rocks here on the foundation that we need to remove and it just makes digging almost impossible so it's not that easy and these bushes were planted i think this, they're going on their second year now yeah and we really can't figure out what to do with the cliff here not sure if you guys have seen the cliff I live on a cliff and I can hear the water there's a stream down there but um, we really can't build a fence back here um, or at least I don't think so so what I started doing is just I just started planting things and this hydrangea is the big sort the big limelight the one that grows really really tall that's why I put it on this corner to kind of protect that side um, and then this is a Rosa Rugosa, and that gets kind of bushy too. So there's still work that I have to do on that part of 
the yard. A lot of cleaning up. It's so messy every spring. <sighs> yeah, so it's really exciting. Really exciting to see how I'm going to be able to make my garden look okay. <laughs> Here I am, by the way. Sitting outside because it's not actually that cold. You can still see some snow on the hills there. But yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'll add a picture to show you what the back of the garden looked like last fall, early fall. I should look quite pretty. So I really can't wait to get start pruning and stuff. And But the cold is not over yet, so I can't prune really any of my roses or the lavender or anything else yet I have to wait still gets pretty cold and here in this area I am planning to plant more roses I'm not sure if to add like small rose bushes and then add some a clematis here because well the veranda isn't that tall so I really don't know well you can always control the height of a clematis but I'm not really sure about that, but we'll see. But it's either going to be clematis with some roses or just roses with some companion plants. But those are my hopes. Um, I'm not going to have that many funds <laughs> Ooh. Uh, because we are leaving for L.A. this summer. Hopefully everything will go okay and let us in the country. <laughs> You never know. Um, so I really don't know. I'm not sure what our funds are going to look like and what money I'm going to have extra for my garden this year. But Well, we're all going. I go every year, but this time the entire family is going to LA. So it's uh, very expensive. But I'm very, very much looking forward to developing the garden. So pretty outside right now. Love it. I don't even have a jacket on. Yep. Hope everyone's doing good though. So this is what the garden looks like now. And now I'm going to show you the picture of what it looked like during the fall. And oh yeah, total shoots of uh, new plants that are growing up, new bulbs. I counted a total of 19. 19 plants that are surfacing the flower bed. Exciting. 